We call our Earth the blue planet because two-thirds of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans. We exist in this broader context, right? We exist in the context where the ocean is inherently connected to the land. It's really important that we think about our impacts on nature. We as a human society have increased the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere over the last 200 years at an unprecedented rate. It has never gone so high so fast. We need to counter those sources of CO2. We have to create sinks. And those sinks will help us actually get rid of that CO2. The ocean can mitigate its climate change globally. It's done a good job already. It's soaked up the extra heat. It's soaked up the extra carbon dioxide very well. It's just we're now at a tipping point. It's incredibly important that we work with the power of the ocean to help restore our planet. Our mission is to remove billions of tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere with coastal carbon capture. So just to set the table, we have a lot to do when it comes to carbon removal. There's more than two trillion tons of excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere today. We are removing such minuscule amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere today, and our net zero targets are falling behind. My name is Kelly Earhart. I'm co-founder and president at Vesta. Vesta is an organization that's working to advance the science of coastal carbon capture, which is a mechanism to remove up to a billion tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every year by just harnessing one of Earth's most natural, most ancient processes, known as rock weathering. A slow chemical reaction that happens every time that rocks come into contact with water. This process is what drives carbon removal on Earth over very long timescales, so millions of years. We accelerate that by choosing one of the most efficient minerals at performing that process, a common mineral called olivine, we grind it into a sand, and then we bring it to coastal areas where it dissolves. Olivine is a naturally occurring mineral that is found all over the world. There are even beautiful natural olivine beaches in places like Hawaii. As the olivine dissolves, it transfers CO2 into a different, stable, safe form of carbon called bicarbonate. My name is Grace Andrews, and I'm the Vice President and Head of Science at Vesta. Vesta has launched the world's first field trial of coastal enhanced weathering in Long Island, New York. This was something that had never been done before. We had the opportunity to place 500 tons of olivine sand on a beach, and we have been rigorously monitoring it, quantifying carbon removal. It is enough to demonstrate the potential of scale for this solution. This is the first ever deployment of olivine sand for enhanced weathering in the entire world. The aim of this project at North Sea Beach is to understand the rate of carbon capture and measure any ecological effects on the surrounding area to get a better understanding of coastal carbon capture and enhanced weathering to make this a scalable project in the future. One of the benefits of olivine is that it makes the ocean more alkaline. It offsets the ocean acidification that has occurred. With this increased CO2 drawdown, the oceans are becoming more acid. The oceans are usually very stable, so the animals and plants and other organisms that live there are not used to changes in pH. Ocean acidification has severely changed the ability for shelf-forming organisms, such as corals, shellfish, but also tiny, tiny snails that swim in the ocean to form their shells. They become more vulnerable, and as a consequence, local ecosystems might collapse. It's a problem that has massive consequence, not just to the animals in our ocean, but to all of us humans here on land as well, because we depend on them for our sustenance, for our general livelihoods. So far, we have seen an increase in alkalinity. We are definitely measuring an increase in pH of our sites with olivine compared to without olivine. It is really exciting and gives us a lot of hope that this project will work in the future. 
Often one of the first questions we get is, okay, so you're mining the rocks and you're transporting it. That must be really expensive. You must emit a lot of carbon in that process. Coastal carbon capture is somewhere between 90 to 95% efficient, which means that for every ton of carbon that we emit into the atmosphere, when we do milling, shipping, deployment, we can capture 20 tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It's permanent. Once carbon is removed through this process, it stays fixed in seawater for tens of thousands of years at the least. Coastal carbon capture is a planetary scale solution. The pilot trial is the first step in the process of scaling this technology. Next year, we hope to increase the size of our deployment by 10 times. Over the next 10 years, we hope to reach global scale potential. A future that I imagine is a biosphere that's balanced. And what's more, imagine a future that is more beautiful than the world we live in today. We need to address climate change on the global scale. In the next decades, if we don't do something, the ocean will lose its capacity to help us. And if we improve things, it'll gain it back again. Now that we have advanced our understanding of our impacts on nature, it's really a time unlike any other that we have an opportunity to show exactly how we can be a net positive to nature. It's really important that gigaton scale solutions like coastal carbon capture can be advanced and hopefully in the future leave this planet as a place that our children and our children's children can thrive.